The Bible says, Be merciful unto me, O God. Be merciful unto me, for my soul trusteth in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. When the calamity comes, the trouble, the heartache, the storm, the safest place to be is close to Jesus Christ. This cry you hear today and read today can be the cry of a nation, the nation of Israel, that faithful remnant going through that time of great tribulation as the pursuit of the Antichrist and the natural disasters and all those horrible pangs of woe come upon the earth, this faithful remnant can cry, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. And that three and a half year time, that period of great tribulation, as awful as it will seem, will have an end. And that faithful remnant must cling to God, get close to God, hide under the shadow of God's wing, like Psalm 91 also tells us, until that storm, that calamity, is over. And for you today, spiritually, the safest place to be when things are going crazy, when your world has gone haywire, when it seems like the calamities are just bearing down upon you, the safest place to be is as close to God as you can get. Trust Him more. Pray more. Cry out for God's mercy more, as the psalmist does here. Because your calamity will not last forever. And though the storms may come and the storms may go, it's what you do in the storm that defines you. So may it be said of you that you prayed, that you trusted, that you draw nigh. So when that calamity is overpassed, you may have heard, for you may hear from God, well done, a good and faithful servant. Because calamities do not last forever, but God is your eternal refuge today.